another small step in the, the road of getting my bioloids to work from a Unix machine. The RPC software that I'm writing is actually pretty easy but this low level shit is taking a bit of time. So what I've got here is a Zigbee radio on a serial card although it's got a little red light on it you can't see it and that's connected to this uh, Linux box which is just down here you can see the disk drive of it over here we have a CM5 from a Bioloid kit and you can see in the distance the screen so all I'm doing is going to demonstrate that uh, the Linux box can talk to the CM5 it has to send packets in a particular format via this uh, Zigbee link. So I'll turn on the CM5. And I'll start up the program on the Linux box. And actually everything's called T. You probably can't see that. It's at the lot at the bottom of the screen there. I'll start up the little CM5 and you thank you Gamma and you can see that and you probably can't see the lower line of the screen shows that the CM5 message is printed out just as you would normally see on a uh, terminal connected directly to the CM5 and now the program is ready to accept any input so I can actually now type on my Linux box which is over here I'll just move the camera forgive the mess if I can get a picture of the keyboard amazing I still can't see my hand. There's the return button. Push return. And the Linux machine has typed out a whole lot of garbage, which is what actually got sent back from the CM5. And now it's in echo mode, so every character I type on the Linux machine should echo a little packet at the bottom of the screen that's what all that shit is basically for every character that goes in it gets transformed into a a little packet the packet goes to the CM5 which echoes back a similar packet of four characters so that seems to be working to my satisfaction so this is one step along the road of getting RPCs going to a bioloid. Basically what I'll be, be doing is writing software that sends remote procedure calls out to robots telling them to lift legs and whatever and returning a little status to say whether that movement succeeded or failed or partly succeeded. Then we'll be able to write software on a Linux machine instead of this somewhat limited bioloid